And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Our next story is from Sierra Leone, where an engineering student is hoping to clean up the country's polluting public transport system. He aims to manufacture a fleet of solar-powered vehicles and disability-friendly EVs that would not just help people in his country breathe cleaner air, but also contribute to the fight against climate change. Our next story tells you more about this 23-year-old engineer and his climate campaign. In Sierra Leone's capital city of Freetown, Russia's are just like any other major city across the world. Lengthy traffic jams see a long line of minibuses, mopeds, shared taxis and three-wheeled vehicles known as KKs, each spluttering toxic emissions into the air. Many of the vehicles stuck in these traffic jams are poorly maintained and have inefficient exhausts, exacerbating air pollution, which is a leading contributor to climate change. Each year, about 4.2 million people die prematurely due to outdoor air pollution, with low- and middle-income countries overwhelmingly facing the impact. The United Nations Environment Programme says that in 2021, fine particle air pollution killed 1,200 people in Sierra Leone, a country of 8.5 million people. One such person was James Samba's uncle. He died from a respiratory illness after years of inhaling roadside exhaust fumes. His death spurred the 23-year-old Samba to develop his own model of an electric KK that could help clean up Sierra Leone's pollution. Assembled from recycled scrap metal and powered by batteries, the pink four-wheeled vehicle now roams the streets of the capital. Although the project is still at its nascent stage, Samba aims to offer an eco-friendly alternative to traditional fuel-run KKs. And most of the fossil fuel emissions do come from vehicles like the bike, which my uncle used to hang on. So that actually birthed the entire idea of electric vehicles, of which I started by creating the electric wheelchair, which my uncle, um, of course, began using until he later passed on. But um, it's also something that we did have to rethink of as a team from Sierra Electric to actually put that in the mass transportation, which is like the keke or public transportation means that we are using. Samba has set up his own company called Sierra Electric, which manufactures solar-powered KKs and disability-friendly electric vehicles. However, a lack of funds made him partner with a startup, Neve Salon, to develop a KK powered by rooftop solar panels. Since its partnership, Neve Salon has a fleet of more than 100 solar tricycles, three charging stations and battery swapping cabinets for customers. Part of what we want to do is to run a public transport at affordable price. Um, as I said earlier, there is a challenge of, um, of transportation in the country. Um, a lot of people, they queue, long lines, and a lot of areas, they are really, really going through a lot of constraints. So we want to see how we could chip in in that area. James Samba believes that solar KKs are cheaper to run as the drivers face lower maintenance costs. But the smallest of Neve Salon's solar KKs sells for over $5,200. A high price for those living in one of the world's poorest countries. Yet, despite that, some drivers have already converted to eco-friendly options amid rising fuel prices. For example, this one is not using fuel. It is electronic, it has no noise, no air pollution, and it will not affect anybody. And it is very simple to drive and comfortable for everybody. Taking inspiration, several other drivers have also adopted eco-friendly alternatives while also calling women to embrace the opportunity and drive EKKs, 
a baby step towards tackling the air pollution crisis in the country. Greeting you with aloha and namaste. No, I, I love India. Presence, uh, occupation of a territory by another country pertains to India. What we saw in Kashmir. The how do you see Trump's America? Yes, the current administration behaves differently from the previous administration. Are you saying that there are foreign powers who are trying to bring down the current government in yes, Syria? Exactly. Iran, maybe Russia too. Prime Minister Modi committed to our uh, South-South, you know, corporations. Is Ukraine prepared to pay the price for that peace? No compromises at the cost of territorial integrity and sovereignty. 